At the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix, Mercedes managed to secure an unexpected but encouraging result with both of their cars finishing in the top five. The race was particularly noteworthy because George Russell outperformed his famous teammate Lewis Hamilton during the second stint. Hamilton wasted no time in expressing his frustration with the W14 car. So why is this car affecting Hamilton more than Russell? George Russell has had the upper hand over Hamilton in qualifying so far this season, outperforming him in both Bahrain and Saudi Arabia. While the gap was relatively small in Bahrain, it was significantly larger at the Jeddah circuit, with Hamilton over three and a half tenths slower. The primary reason for this was Hamilton's difficulty in finding the right balance and grip in the first sector. Even after qualifying, Hamilton continued to express his frustration and disconnection with the car. No matter what I do, no matter what I change, I can't get confidence back. The car doesn't feel safe to drive, he said, looking frustrated. It turned out that the root cause of his lack of confidence in the car was the lack of downforce, which is impacting the rear end stability. During practice, Mercedes struggled to find the right balance, and the car was too pointy for Hamilton. In the qualifying session, the first left-right sequence emerged as the crucial juncture, where the time difference between Hamilton and Russell was the most obvious. Russell appeared to possess greater confidence during the turn-in, while Hamilton demonstrated a more cautious approach. While the setups of the two drivers weren't dramatically different, there were some slight variations in how the mechanical balance changed around the lap, which could explain why Russell seemed to adapt better to the car's problems. Mercedes trackside engineering director Andrew Shovlin disclosed in an interview, the team is working to address the car's poor rear grip, which is currently limiting the car's performance. Overall, it seems like Russell's confidence and skill are helping him to better manage the car's inherent issues, while his fellow teammate is struggling to adapt. Adapt. Surprisingly, Hamilton finished in fourth place in Bahrain, ahead of Russell, who came in sixth. But in Saudi Arabia, the latter had the upper hand and finished five seconds ahead of Hamilton, responding well to his fellow competitors' challenge mid-race. After the race, Hamilton disclosed that he and Russell had made different setup choices, but he went the wrong way. As a result, he struggled with understeering in the first stint before improving on softer tires after the stop. The experienced driver said, I would have been in a far better position if I had George's setup. Unfortunately, I picked the wrong one. Interestingly, Hamilton finds the Mercedes W14 easier to drive in race trim than in qualifying. He explained that in qualifying trim, the car feels like it's on a knife's edge when driven at over 95%. He also stated that in race trim, it's more comfortable and predictable. However, he admitted he still lacks confidence in the car during races, which he attributes to the missing rear downforce. But Hamilton also cryptically suggested there is a mystery with the W14 that he's never experienced before in his career, which is causing discomfort. Although he didn't give any details, he plans to work with the team to get it corrected. Despite his expectations of being in the title hunt in 2023, Hamilton is struggling to come to terms with a car that's far behind Red Bull's pace. Historically, when faced with difficult situations, it takes Hamilton some time to adjust. The Briton is determined to continue racing in F1 next year, despite being 38 and knowing his opportunities to win an 8th World Championship are getting slim. Recently, his attitude off the track suggests he may be feeling the pressure, and his frustrations with the car may be more pronounced than he lets on, although Russell is also frustrated with the W14. However, he's not letting it show. Instead, he's stepping up and taking on a leadership role for the team. Not only has he expressed his satisfaction with the car, but he's also putting in more effort than ever to push the team forward and develop the car. Russell believes that the difficult times now will pay off in the long run, and he's looking toward the future with optimism. With his precision and ability to keep a lively car under control through subtle inputs, he's well suited to getting the best out of the Mercedes W14, especially when it comes to a single lap pace. While it's easy to write off Hamilton in the face of these challenges, it's important to remember that there was a similar pattern last year. However, once the car was well sorted from mid-season onwards, Hamilton often proved to be marginally stronger than his teammate. Both drivers are well balanced and highly skilled, so it's anyone's guess as to who will come out on top in the end. What do you think Lewis Hamilton needs to do to better adapt to the Mercedes F1 car? Share your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.